today I'm doing like a, my life as like a entrepreneur slash like business cards because I make my own necklace cards. Okay, packaging orders and just doing business stuff with me. We package a lot of orders. <laughs> we got some packages. It's gonna be another business video, entrepreneur video. I'm gonna be doing a business tips on Friday weekend. An Amazon unboxing haul for my business. Today I'm gonna be packaging orders. Doing another entrepreneur video, but only doing another entrepreneur video. We're doing an entrepreneur video. So I have my first pop up this Saturday. My phone. This is where I take all my pictures. This is video. Go shop made by Lily. Hey guys! Okay, so basically today's video was going to be a whole process of behind the scenes of relaunching Made by Lily. If you guys are watching it right now, we just relaunched Go shop made by Lily.com, new website, new products, new everything. And I'm also wearing two of my new releases right now. The dagger necklace and then the moss agate donut hole necklace. Literally, I'm obsessed and this combo is just everything. So today is Wednesday, October 26th. Honestly, I'm not sure which day I'm relaunching on. So we'll figure out when this video uploads. But we have stuff to do because I've been working on basically this relaunch for the past two months. And I'm so excited for you guys to see. But I feel like the first part of kind of getting ready for a relaunch is making a mood board of basically how you want your Instagram to look. Because that's where mainly you get all the customers from. Like you got to have good marketing. And presentation is everything. So what I'm about to do right now is go on Pinterest and Canva. And we're going to create this mood board for Made by Lily Season 3. I call it Season 3 because I'm going into my third year in business almost. And that's really crazy. But they say the first two years is when business fails. But look. We still going and this is never gonna fail. I'm just gonna kind of look for pictures that I want my brand to embody or just the vibe of my brand. I'm really loving this picture. It's like cute, classy with the heels and then also the aura effect. If you know, you know. Okay guys, this is basically the final mood board. I basically just got pictures that kind of inspired me for my business or things I wanted it to be like. Some IG pictures, kind of inspo, and then like relatable content. Some quotes I want to do. And basically just how I want the overall vibe and feel of my new website. Okay guys, so today is October 29th. It's Halloween weekend. And if you don't know, I work a job. I'm in high school. I do YouTube. I have a business. And I run a club at my school, so I've been very busy. We have to make time for what we love, and it's my business, of course. So a part of relaunching is cleaning up and just getting everything ready so when I get orders, I can process it easy. When I need to make stuff, it goes all smoothly. And right now, my work area ain't looking too good, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, this is my fabric station, and it's looking very messy, so we need to clean that. My desk isn't too messy, but it does just have some shipping labels and like some products that we need to put away. I also need to do some resin orders. And then this whole area is just messed up. This is like basically like storage and then like bubble air bubble mailers. And I need to organize all my jewelry supplies. And then yeah, it's just uh. Ah. Okay, the next part of a relaunch is planning because if you don't plan, how's anything gonna get done? So it's actually October 30th right now, tomorrow's Halloween, but I'm gonna plan the calendar right now, it's in October, so we're gonna change it to November. Okay, hello guys, so it's Halloween, happy Halloween, but we gotta go drop off these packages. Um, I'm not sure if I recorded it or not, but I'm trying to get all of my, um, I have an Etsy as well, so I'm trying to get all those orders shipped out before like the relaunch so I can mainly focus like on my actual website, but here we go. Try to like not just focus on one platform, like don't put all your eggs in one basket, like say yeah I have, I have my Shopify, but say when I'm relaunching I'm not making any money because I'm not selling products, but I have my Etsy which I sell products on too. So that way it's like, you know, you're never just at a complete stop. I always go inside to drop them off now because if you try to drop them off in the Dropbox, they be losing them and then the tracking don't be updating until heck along. Like, it's just no. Oh my God, y'all just feel hecka hard. Okay, anyways, 
I want to have some content ready like when I relaunch I want to be planning like a week ahead so all my content's already ready because I also work and I'm in school and you know we just gotta have good time management so I'm gonna take some pictures today and then I want to start planning the content that I want to post like when I relaunch um I highly suggest this app called preview it kind of lets you like see what your Instagram will feed will look like before you post it so that way like everything's cohesive because if you have a brand you want everything to look presentable and nice because that's the first thing people see they'll just go on your Instagram and not even check out your website if your Instagram doesn't look you know like up to par if that makes sense <laughs> Okay guys, the next kind of part of relaunching, this is kind of like the not so fun part, but also like the business administrative part, which I feel like any business owners, you really should do this because I haven't been doing this, but I'm starting now because I don't want no problems and stuff when I turn 18 and all that stuff. But it is like basically saving everything for taxes, making just like a binder kind of full of like invoices, how much money you spent on products, just like organizing everything like financial wise because it's good to see that. Also so you can calculate your profits and just make sure everything's running smoothly. So what I'm gonna do is basically print out everything I've ordered for my relaunch and like get the invoices for that and put that in. And I'm gonna make a spreadsheet of basically all my products and like how much they go for and then when I relaunch, how much I sell and then the profit and all that stuff. Just so that way when it comes to all the like legal stuff, you're kind of ready i really suggest anybody in like who does their own business really do this but yeah even if you don't even if you don't think you like make a lot just do it because it's good to see are going to make some products i want to have all of my products done by this week so by next week i don't have to worry about it next week is just marketing and everything so i'm currently making the dagger necklace and I'm just packaging it up as well. So that way when I get orders too, I don't have to have a long like processing time because it's already made. So I just go boop and package it. But yeah, we got all the materials, chains, jump rings, pliers. It's time to get down and dirty. Okay guys, what I'm doing right now is basically creating a check through list of everything I need to have gotten done for this relaunch just so I don't miss anything and last minute I'm not like, oh, I didn't do that. So I'm going to create this list and then today we're going to do a little shoot. I'm not sure which necklaces I'm going to be shooting with yet. I might do some just with like certain outfits just so I have content for the Instagram. And yeah, so let's create this list. I feel like it's always good to have a checklist, especially with even not even just relaunching, but just running your business anyways, because especially if you're just one person, like it's a lot to remember. And like with your other, like you got work life and life and it's just a lot. Okay, I just finished the list. Honestly, it's not that long, but I probably will add things on throughout the week. But let me give y'all a rundown. I need to do econ pics. If you guys don't know what that means, it's basically the pictures that go on your website of the products. And then I need to have all the products made. I need to do a content plan. That means what I'm going to be posting on my stories, what the Instagram posts are going to be, TikToks, all that stuff. And then I need to do a shoot. So I want to do like a picnic kind of looking shoot. And then another shoot like in the car, if that makes sense. You're probably like, girl. But we got to have that content. And then I need to make sure I got all my packaging set up. So yesterday I actually ordered two things. So I ordered some packaging. I got satin bags and then I got these little clear bags just for any extra stuff that I need to put in. Also probably gonna go to the dollar store because I need to get something for my club. If you guys don't know, I have a fashion club at my school. But then I also wanna look like for maybe like some organization for my business or maybe we'll go to Target. I'm not sure yet. But we're also doing a photo shoot today too. So we got a lot going on. I think the first thing that I want to knock out is finishing all the econ pics. I know I did basically almost all of it, but I need to take a picture of some bracelets and then I believe like a ring. So let's go in the garage. I'll show y'all show how I like set up everything too. When I say you can use, literally use anything to take product pictures, I mean it because I literally just found this in my garage. I have no idea where it's from. It says Miyuku. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to use it as a background for my products. So I pretty much just lay it down. I grab my fake plants, set it down just like this, and then boom, we got a backdrop. Okay, so I'm going to basically taking pictures of my Tiger Eyes bracelet 
And then this is the branch that I'm going to be taking pictures of. It's orange adventuring with um, pearls and then little gold accents. Super cute. And make sure y'all shop. I also use like this projector cover sometimes if the silk ain't working right. So that's what I'm using right now. And then I literally just take the pictures on my iPhone. Voila! I'm also going to take some videos just in case I want to use it for like reels. Okay guys, I'm about to show you guys the process of how I kind of put everything on my website. So, like I said, I took the pictures on my phone. So, we're going to grab the pictures from my phone. And what I'm going to do is select the ones that I want. And then, just airdrop it to my iPad. Honestly, an iPad I feel like is probably the best investment for a business owner. Like, you don't really need a computer. I feel like an iPad is perfect. Especially, um, if you want to like actually design stuff. Like with the Apple Pencil and everything, you could do all of that. Or like clothing brand, you can do it with Procreate. And yeah, so after I airdrop it straight to my camera roll. And while we're on my camera roll, y'all, look at these logos I made last night. Tell me that is not slate. Tell me that is not giving 3D. Like, oh, tell me it's not giving 3D. Like, I really, really did that. I'm not gonna lie. I really did that. Like, I'm about to get stickers made and everything because that is such a sleigh. It, I made it in multiple. Hey, Y'all not ready. Y'all not ready. There, all I do is go on to my Shopify. Also, for Shopify, say you're not, like, selling right now or you're in the middle of a relaunch or you just don't want your website up. You can still, you could pay $9 every month to just work on your website instead of, instead of selling. So, that's what I'm doing since, obviously, right now I'm not selling anything because I'm in the process of relaunching. So what I do is I'm just going to gonna go on my website. I'm literally just going to go to where it says online store. And then and then on your on Shopify, it has like a little product section. I literally just add it on through there. And that's pretty much it. Also, I feel like adding products from your iPad is way easier than adding it on from your computer. Okay, so I kind of want to explain the process of how I kind of thought of the ideas for my website. So... Like, just now, I literally just seen this picture right here. This is the front picture that I chose from my website. But then I was like, I feel like it's missing something. So what I decided to do is I went on my GoodNotes app and I kind of outlined everything. Like, I pointed to all the stuff that's for my business and I pointed it out on here so people can shop the look. So, like, the dagger necklace I'm wearing. I'm wearing the 222 angel number necklace. And then I'm wearing the classic hoop and the go green bag. So, that way it also gives people kind of inspo. But they can also see, like, me wearing it. Yeah, and I feel like this just adds way more than the last picture. Because then it's like, oh, that's the new products. Let me shop. Okay, so I'm basically done with my econ pick. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Yay! One thing off the list. Okay guys, so I am in the car because we are on our way to the dollar store Like I said, I have to get something from my fashion club And then I'm also just gonna look around see if they got any like organization Or even like little backgrounds because I'm telling y'all y'all can find stuff at the dollar store But let's go it's two days Guys, ago. it's Christmas Thank time oh, They actually have cute bags I said ring pops Okay, so we are at the dollar store I got two post boards isn't this so cute? Doesn't it give me like Disney princess? Wait, okay, like a potion. No. How cute. How cute. Okay, guys, so I'm actually on the way to Target now because they be having little secret gems. Plus, all the Christmas stuff should be out, so I want to go look at it because I'm so excited. But yeah, also, Black Friday is coming up soon for the business. Y'all know. You guys literally look how freaking cute. Oh my god. Okay guys, well Target's kind of like empty right now, so no. So I guess we'll have to come back another time. Okay guys, we have to stop and do a little gas. Okay guys, here's my, not my trick, but my thing. Every time my car is half a tank, I fill it up because then it's only like $20, $26. Mm, it's better than $70 all at once. Okay, as you have seen, I really didn't find anything for my business at the store, so it's kind of irrelevant trip. But it's okay because we got to see some of the Christmas stuff. But right now, I'm about to make on my notes. I literally love using my notes app. But I'm basically about to make a list or just kind of brainstorm ideas for reels and TikToks because that's how you get your products out there. That's how you get new followers. That's how you get customers. That's just, it's marketing. So 
I'm gonna just think of some like things to do for these videos even go on TikTok and see what other people are doing what trends are like going on right now and just plan okay guys we're gonna do an unboxing because a package just came for my packaging materials Okay, so like I said, I needed more things for my packaging, so I got these organza bags, and I wanted like a dark green color, these, so these are the ones I got, honestly, it's a little lighter than I thought they would be, but I think this would look good, like imagine the gold. Okay, no, that's gonna look good. So, got these. I got like 80 of the 80 bags, yeah. And then I'll probably get some more once it's New Year's Eve, but especially like for Black Friday and Christmas sales, they've been going crazy. And then I also got like some jewelry boxes because I will be making like little gift sets and stuff. Then we got another package. This like probably has, I don't know, does this count to do something about business? It could, but it cannot because it's a water bottle. But y'all. I've been on the hunt for like the perfect water bottle and I think I found it. So I got this one. I need to order black. Okay, hold on. I thought I ordered white. Okay, it is the white one. So I got this water bottle. Oh dang, this is big. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god. This is such a sleigh. a thing for traveling with it and then I think you just open it like this super cute but then it also comes with a thing where you can take off the lid like say you're at home and you want to just drink it regularly tell me this is not the cutest thing like come on now tell me. <laughs> like this is so cute oh my god I'm so excited hey guys what I did right now is basically add all my pictures that I took from shoots and I made it into one album this way it's way easier when I need to access it so it's just right here I named it made by Lily season three because it is my third year of business ah. but yeah everything's all organized I'm gonna let you guys charge because we are gonna do a shoot okay guys photo shoot bag is filled we have two tops to change into iPad jewelry case with all the jewelry headphones sunglasses and some accessories and last will be the tripod made it to the location basically it's just this big park that i have in my town we're gonna take pictures I'm gonna get this photo shoot going honestly i feel like nature is like the best place to do photo shoots because it's good lighting greenery looks good with everything and it's just perfect Here's my bag. We got this thing and my cousin is gonna help me make your debut so when I have a million subscribers you can brag about it. Okay, so my name is Faith Elizabeth Sahara Tucker and one day when she's famous, everybody know me, please. And <laughs> you heard it here. But yeah, so I think the first photo shoot I wanna do, y'all probably like people who, I don't know, she this probably sounds weird. Name, just my name but I want to do like a shoot where I'm just kinda like, you gotta, you gotta make it relatable you gotta make it like oh my god yeah that's totally me so i'm gonna just put these headphones on and then i'm gonna probably just like look at my phone or read a book and then i'm have her take a picture but it's gonna like show the accessories you get my vision you should know you're laughing hey guys okay guys this is look number two i changed it to this like knit cream sweater brown glasses, bracelet, and I'm gonna, I added the angel number necklace and we're gonna take some pictures. Hey guys, I'll fit change number three into my tapestry thing. I'm basically gonna do one where it's like a behind the scenes of me working on my brand. Hey guys, photo shoot is pretty much done. I will show you guys all the pictures when I get home. I'm so excited because they look too good. Okay guys, it is currently Tuesday. I just got off of school and relaunch is in three days. Basically, I announced it yesterday, but yesterday I had work, so I announced it and then kind of went to work, so that's why I didn't record. But if you guys are not following me, you should follow me. And basically what I kind of did is I just took a picture, like you guys seen at the photo shoot, I just posted this picture and it's basically of my new logo because I feel like that just kind of intuits like new things, relaunch, and I just put relaunch 1111. 
and yeah i upload a story i'm actually getting a lot of interaction so that's really good like everyone's loving it and just post a new logo little sneak peek and stuff i'm going to make this story right now because i kind of want to get people like interested in what i'm going to be releasing next so something new that i'm releasing is these classic hoops i'm wearing them right now so i'm just gonna post on my story like are you a fan of studs or hoops just to kind of see what like everyone actually likes I know kind of hoops are more trendier right now, so we will see, but I feel like it's always good to post these interactive stories with your followers. That way you can see what they like, but also keep them engaged so you know it's not like just like a business and they're just selling products. Like they actually are, like we want to show that we're actually interested in like what other people think because obviously like, you know, I want to see what they feel or their opinion. So I'm going to do a little poll. So this is basically what the story is going to look like. You know, I want it to still be branded like made by Lily, but just gives them an example and then what they can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and post that. And then around, I think, 3.30 or 4, we're going to post our behind the scenes reel that I created because I want to show the people, you know, what we're going to do. And then also I need to start planning my post. I mean, they're going to plan the post today or tomorrow, but... We'll figure it out. So this is basically the reel I want to post for today. I already kind of have everything set. I just need to post it. But. It's all right. Okay, guys. It is the day before relaunch day. Ah! And basically right now it's 8.40. I got ready because we got a lot to do today. Honestly, like. It's kind of a lot, like, that's why I'm up so early and all that. But right now, I'm actually going to be creating a TikTok, and it's kind of going to just be like an outfit TikTok, because, and I'm just going to be, like, wearing my new pieces with the outfit and everything, just to get some content for my TikTok, but also promote my business. You see? Doing, like, an all-brown kind of, like, winter outfit, and I'm showcasing my extra pearl necklace, and then probably in the... And then probably the angel number or the dagger necklace layered with it. Okay, and for my TikToks, I film everything on the camera app and then I all I edit it all on CapCut. So I got like 10 clips right now. I'm gonna edit it. I usually make it like the most is like 18 seconds. I don't wanna make it longer than 20 seconds because people's attention spans on TikTok oh, low. Since this video is me picking out an outfit and like showing the jewelry, this one is about like 28 seconds long. Making an outfit and styling it and then also adding accessories and then showing them the accessories which are for my brand. So you get it like people like to see how like things actually look like they want to see oh some outfit inspo or ideas on how they would style this because jewelry literally adds to like every outfit and that's kind of like my target audience like people who just love fashion, love to put outfits on and my jewelry can help them express their outfits more. So I'm gonna post this now. I gotta find a sound though. We're gonna try to look for probably like a trending one. Hey. Okay, I just uploaded the TikTok. Now I need to go run an errand. So I think I'm going to go run to Target real quick. And then also I need to print out these things for my business so we can finish Etsy orders because I wanna get all of those out the way. So when it's relaunch, I can just focus on that. Okay, as you guys seen, I went to Target, didn't really record much because it doesn't really have anything to do with the relaunch, but we need to finalize this website because I just want to make sure everything's perfect with it, like, I, pretty much everything is done, I just want to double check, go over everything, and make sure everything's working right, because you never know. Oh my god, guys, it is so cold. While I was charging, I was shipping out some orders from my Etsy, and I made two more, so that's done. We'll go to the post office later, but yeah. I'm really excited to just kind of get back in the groove of my business. Like, these past few, um, this past week, while well, since I, I literally haven't posted on, like, my business Instagram in, like, two months, so posting on it, like, this past week has felt so good, getting back into the flow of things. But let me give y'all a, let me just show you on my website. So this is how it's looking so far. Ah, I literally love it so much. Got the thing and then we got our collections. 
And we got a little barcode and showing some more. I'm gonna put this is BTS and made by Lily. Once this video is uploaded, I'm gonna add this video onto the website so people can see like the behind the scenes of how I run my business or just the behind the scenes of the relaunch. So if you're watching this from my business Instagram or from just clicking the website, first of all, thank you for clicking on it and I hope you guys like everything and just thank you for supporting me. Okay, everything looks good on the website. Oh my god, this is so weird. Like, I'm really relaunching tomorrow. But in the meantime, while since I'm done looking at the website, everything's pretty much good. I want to make a necklace because I kind of thought of this idea and I feel like it would be really cute. And I would want to release it before I do my Black Friday sale. So let's get cooking pretty much. Okay, so basically. My idea for this necklace is almost like a really detailed chain because I've been seeing like kind of like some inspo of what I want to do to where like I'm kind of over like the basic chain and I kind of have an idea to put the chain with this pendant. So we got our chain. I love this kind of chain. I I created like the my angel number. That design is like one of my favorite things I've created. So I kind of want to do a twist on that and let's see what I come up with. Y'all. I definitely did it with this one. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, tell me, this is not. Yo, know, like, tell me this is not one of the most beautiful pieces you've ever seen. Like, it's giving detail, it's giving character, it's giving everything. Okay. Oh when we're at this green wall, you already know what time it is. I want to just take some more pictures of this necklace since I literally created it the day before the launch, but. Tell me it is just not so cute and detailed and just everything. Okay. Okay, Slay. I wanted to take some selfies that I can either post on my story or just in the feed. Mission accomplished. Little one minute project. Now we are... I don't know yet. So now I'm about to basically figure out how I want my feed to look and what's gonna be the relaunch post and stories and all of that because I haven't done none of that yet. Y'all like, girl, not you wait until last minute. I'm not waiting till last minute, but I wanted to wait until I knew like all of the content I had so I can go through it. So let's open Canva. Let's get these stories ready, Instagram post. I'm gonna figure out what the main post I wanna do first. That way I can base my stories off of that main post. So I use the app preview and it basically lets you see your pictures on your Instagram before you even post them so you can see how your feed will look. Okay, so this is basically how it's looking so far. Tell me this feed is not slaying. Okay, this is basically the story lineup I have for tomorrow. This is just kind of like showcasing the bracelet because in my, fir in my first relaunch post, this bracelet's not really gonna be shown. So I want people to also see that. And then here's some necklace lineups. And then just letting people know to check out the site. I'm also gonna, of course, add stuff throughout the day, like freehandly without like, without preparing for it like when i just posted my story but i just like to have some things prepared i'll also do like a day in my life as a relaunch thing so i could post that on saturday so we get all the content i'm so excited honestly though that's like pretty much everything i have to do like i'm pretty much ready for my relaunch i'm not gonna be recording tomorrow because i actually want to post this on relaunch day and I will be recording tomorrow, but that's for another video of like a day in my life as a business owner. So yeah, thank you guys for just watching my journey. I hope this inspires anybody who wants to make that business. Just do it. Like, just do it. Girl, guy, anybody, just do it. I promise you, like, even if like the worst that can happen is the worst that can happen. And then that's it. Take that risk because... <sighs> I want to stop letting things get in the way of what like I actually love doing and I just like love doing this stuff and I just like being my own boss and that's that's you know that's the goal so without that being said May by Lily is now relaunched I'm so excited to get back into it y'all ready y'all not ready for all this new content everything but make sure you go shop if you see anything you like we're definitely gonna be having a Black Friday and it's gonna be one to remember and new product shopping every week so don't don't play but i hope you guys have a nice rest of your day 
Thank you so much for taking the time and watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And bye!